Welcome back. So those of you that are just finding this video for the first time, this is a continuation of my gluten-free pastry dough recipe, which is what we have here and why this is such a radical mess. But I couldn't make pastry dough without showing you how to make really simple, beautiful hand pies using whatever fresh fruit you have on hand. So this is my gluten-free flour mix. It's primarily rice flour. There's a little bit of starch in it and I'll put the recipe below this video. So because we're doing hand pies, you can do them round or you can do them rectangular or square. I wanna roll this out into a rectangle more or less. This will give us roughly three hand pies. Cut it into thirds. Now I'm going to make pear. This is a bosque pear, and these are grown in our valley. They're wonderful. They're a firmer pear, but they hold up when you cook them. So this guy, you could just cut it in slices and put the slices right in the dough. But because this dough is so soft, it doesn't have quite the structure that wheat flour dough does. I like to just mince these into like little chunks. Then you don't have all those little pokey edges to poke holes in your dough. I'll we'll take a little bit of our pear, a little mound. and put it to the one side of the middle. We're going to um, fold these together and stick them around the edges. So you don't want it going all the way over to the edge. You want a little space that we can connect. And the reason I do this right on the board that I flower on is a little bit of residual flour gets in the pear, just enough to kind of thicken up that um, the juice that's going to come out when we start cooking. Now, if you're a sugar lover, you can just sprinkle these with a little bit of maple sugar, a little brown sugar, a little coconut sugar. I would prefer to have mine not very sweet, and so I just sprinkle sugar on the outside before they bake, and then they look like these little jeweled treats. So I'm not going to add anything other than the pear. Take my pastry brush with a little bit of water and just swipe around the edges. This is like glue, so it's gonna glue our dough together. Now to crimp the edges, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour here just so I can dip my fork in it so it doesn't stick. I'm going to push a little bit, apply a little pressure so they, the two um, sides kind of knit together, but not so much that I'm smashing my fork all the way through to the, to the bench. And if it starts to get sticky, just dip your fork in the flour. If you want to add a little sugar, you can just brush the top with a little bit of water. You could use cream or an egg wash as well, but water works fine. So basically we just want it damp so that our sugar crystals will um, stick. This is Demerara sugar. It's just like these beautiful um, granules. It's kind of thick. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that right over the top. And there you have it, fantastic, flaky, buttery, delicious, gluten-free pastry hand pies. And if you are a gluten fan, as I am, and you have no adverse reaction to it, um, click the link here and I'll take you up to my all-butter pastry crust that is equally delicious. 
So I'm going to place these little guys in a 340 degree convection oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. That's it. Super simple little dessert. Fun, wonderful to share with all of your friends and family members and those of you who can't eat wheat. So my love to you. Thank you for being here. For those of you who have enjoyed the video but have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Um, you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> so thanks a lot. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I'll see you soon. Oh, one more thing. These guys can be frozen at this stage. So you could freeze them on the sheet tray just as they are. When they're nice and hard and frozen, put them in a Ziploc bag and store them in your freezer. Whenever you want a little tasty hand pie, pull them out and bake them off. Beautiful, versatile, and um, just a nice way to make things ahead of time so that when friends come by or you're just too tired and you don't want to make something but you want a little treat, um, they're there waiting for you. So thanks a lot and I'll see you soon.